Hi everybody, I'm Tara from Crooked Row and today we actually have a very special, I don't know, video coming at you. It is, um, on a homestead, it's super important to not just utilize the things that you have here, but I mean, kind of the point is to not just be self-sufficient, but also to save money. And I know, hey, I have teenage boys who are super duper hungry <laughs> and when we go out and we have a busy day like today today is baseball day um, we have a couple games going my daughter has a game and we like to um, you know we like to eat at home but sometimes we're leaving at like three o'clock in the day we're not gonna eat dinner then and then sometimes she won't get finished until eight o'clock that is far too late to actually start a dinner and it's really easy to get into the habit of just, you know, running through a drive through and getting some, I mean, I know that drive through food tastes really good, but it's really bad for you and so I have kids that I want to keep healthy and me and my husband healthy so I am going up tonight against Taco Bell and I'm trying to keep us from going to Taco Bell and so it is a burrito supreme war we're having today so come with me and I'll show you how I do it and I do it extremely quickly probably quicker than what it would take you to get ready get in the car go through the drive through come home and feed your family. So let's see who wins. I like to give my family a taste test at the end. So stay to the end. Sometimes, um, sometimes they like the out to eat food better. And then I have to go back to the drawing board. So let's see who likes Burrito Supremes better. Let's go. You will want to dice one large onion. If you are going to use two pounds of beef, you can, actually you can do as many onions as you want. Um, it depends on how much you like onions. We love onions, um, but one large, and this is a pretty large onion. So one large onion will definitely do it. Um, just quickly peel off that skin. and just give that a good dice. Okay, so first things first, we are going to have a hot pan. I'm starting off with ground beef. Um, I use grass-fed organic beef. Um, I know you'll, you, you can use whatever you want. Uh, that's just what we use. I'm gonna start off with two pounds. And I am just going to kind of, you can throw this in a pan and crumble it with a fork or you can just do like I do and kind of put it in, in pieces. So I'm just gonna go ahead and brown this off. I wait until I completely brown the beef and then I go ahead and add in my seasonings and my diced onions. So I'll go ahead and wait for that to happen and then we will come back and talk about seasonings and additions to the meat. So of course I love salt because one thing about fast food is that it is salty. Now I don't add near as much as they do, but we do make sure it tastes good. And then we add organic chili powder, Ooh, organic chili powder. I'm going to add a little bit of that. Looks like a lot, but it's actually not. It's probably like one of those packets that you get. I never buy packets though. I always do my own seasonings. I add fresh ground black pepper and some garlic powder granules. Not just powder. I don't like powder. I love granules though. It actually tastes a lot more garlicky if you do that. Uh, I like to go ahead and mix that up and then I just like to give it a little taste to make sure it's all exactly what we want. Now I add my onion and I want to let that onion cook pretty good because I don't want big chunks of raw onion in it. 
this is a lot of onion gang. If I had this to do over again, I probably wouldn't add that much onion, but that's okay. Or maybe add another pound of ground beef because that is a ton of onion. So I'm going to let that cook for just a little bit. I want to take some of that rawness off of uh, the edge, off of uh, those onions. If you have some cumin, that might be good to add at this point too. I'm actually out of cumin, so that doesn't help when you're uh, going up against Taco Bell. But hey, <laughs> you do what you got to do. A couple more things that I like to add. I love Aldi's. Simply Nature Organic Medium Thick and Chunky Salsa. I think it's fantastic. It adds onions and tomatoes and peppers uh, for me. That's a really quick way that I don't sit here. I mean, we are, after all, getting ready for my daughter's baseball game. So I am trying to have a quick standoff with Taco Bell. I am one of those moms that is trying to go up against them. <laughs> not really. I'm joking. We love you, Taco Bell. But Taco Bell is not healthy. And so this is, you know, grass-fed ground beef and onions and tomatoes and peppers. And I know everything that goes into this. And I know that the oils that are being used, I know everything that's being used in this. And you can get away with really yummy ingredients and do a standoff with Taco Bell also. <laughs> so even though we have a baseball game to go to, we are getting the meat done beforehand so that we can um, actually have the standoff afterwards because typically that's when we're at our weakest is when we've gone to a game or a sporting event and then we need to make dinner and I'm tired and had a long day and we end up going out to eat. So this helps us to run home and have our own burritos here as opposed to running through Taco Bell and getting their Burrito Supreme, which are pretty stinking good food, but let's see if I can beat them. For little pops of sweetness, I'm also going to add in some organic corn. I don't know if you can see that. Again, I am totally an Aldi's girl, so I love Aldi's. They, they give us exactly what we want, which is organic food, and a lot of it is healthy, and at the very least, it's usually non-GMO. Sorry, I'm spilling corn everywhere. Corn is a great color to put in, but it's also a pop of sweetness, so I definitely do not like to skip on the corn. That looks great, and we are ready to do burritos, but for now, and that took all of 20 minutes, that took 20 minutes to prepare that. That's how long it would take us to get to Taco Bell. So 20 minutes, and again, later we'll see who wins, but right now, we got a ball game to go to. Okay, we are back from the ball game, and I have everything heating up. I made some homemade refried beans. You can just use refried beans from a can. Um, I make my own. If anybody's interested in how to do that, it's super easy, and it's far more flavorful. I've got my beef in the back. It is heating up. I actually, on my pot of beans, I've got my tortillas kind of warming up. I actually have a griddle just in case these don't get warm enough. Um, and I'm going to, we have Christopher shredded me some uh, cheese and Elijah is in the process of shredding some um, lettuce. So we are going to get to putting these together and then we will have our taste test, our standoff. Okay, we will lay down that a tortilla a warmed tortilla i put my homemade beans in the middle and then do a good helping of my beef mixture that we made earlier before the game actually i'm going to put one more scoop because i have a family of big eaters and we have a tiny house, so you gotta make room. Okay, how about some cheese? 
and some lettuce. Oh, please, this already looks better, doesn't it, Christopher? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and dollops of yummy sour cream. Oops. Guys, I do not know how to do wrap burritos. <laughs> oh, I've never worked at Taco Bell, so let me just kind of guess my way. I don't know. I, I know that the ends get tucked or something. Looks good to me. <laughs> There's two. A beef burrito supreme from Taco Bell. And as you can see, we have a little bit of meat, but it's mostly just beans. We've got sour cream, a little bit of lettuce, a little bit of diced tomatoes, and I, it's difficult to tell what else is in this. Um, not all of it is identifiable at this point. But so now that you've had the comparison, we should probably go ahead and try it out. Okay, well we finished the, the, well we haven't finished the challenge, nobody's eaten it yet, but we did finish the burritos that I am challenging Taco Bell with. So now we're going in for the taste test and see how everybody likes it. Okay, now everybody has their burritos on their plates. So why doesn't everybody try the Taco Bell burrito first? Okay. And hey, Taco Bell's pretty stinking good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just one bite. Okay. I'm teasing. You can have as many bites as you want. That's <laughs> yeah, not bad. I, I love Taco Bell burritos. Yeah, they're good. Okay, cool. now let's try my burrito. Okay. Mm. Mm. This is definitely a lot better. Yeah. yeah. There's more texture. Mm -hmm. All the flavors are deeper. And it's like, I don't know, everything, it's the same thing, but everything is far more accentuated in it. Yeah. yeah. You can actually taste the meat. The, yep. the lettuce and, and corn are a lot more fresh. Mm -hmm. yeah. so you have the crispness of the taste for that. Yep. And we can make uh, really more than 12 burritos, but we can make 12 burritos for what we bought three for wow. from Taco Bell. So it's definitely worth it to do it. So, mm -hmm. okay. So what do we say? Who, who did it better, guys? Us. Home. 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 Mommy. <laughs> Yay. Okay. There you have it. We won. So it, that was super simple. And remember, we did a ball game in the middle of all of this. So it only took about 20 minutes to do the meat. If you include my time that I did the refried beans, but most people don't make their own refried beans. You can just pick up a can. The price alone is worth it. The taste alone puts it over the top so and you can add in whatever you want if you love extra sour cream you don't have to pay 50 cents or a dollar for a, a little scoop of sour cream you can put in double meat or double beans or you can add peppers or however you want and again it only took about this last part took about 10 15 minutes so I'm gonna say that total my time was 35 minutes that's how long it would take us to get to the store so so I know that I think that it is well worth staying at home, knowing what your, is your ingredients, and you can make the same foods that they do. So remember, if we can make great Burrito Supremes, anybody can. Thanks. Bye. Is it good, Missy? Mm -hmm. I love this. Your burrito is so good. You cold, buddy? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that burrito good? Mm -hmm. I love your burrito more than Taco Bell's burrito. Thank you. Daddy, are you cold too? A little bit. <laughs> is the burrito good? It is. <clears throat> it's very good. What do you think, Lagey? These are delicious. <laughs> are you cold? No. Me either. <laughs>